it's far too serious man. Today we are taking this toy car to a drive-in cinema. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's been curbed a bit though. <laughs> uh, we did run into one small issue though. It doesn't work. <laughs> did you charge it? I think that's the problem. Oh. I did. <laughs> so, like any normal people, we destroyed it. I don't think it would have been a smart idea to set the battery you know, like the. Explosive bit. <laughs> you wanna buy a mini? Mint condition on Gumtree, yeah? <laughs> So to find a suitable car that could actually hold my weight, I scoured the internet for hours until I found a nice man called Raja who said he'd be able to hook me up. <laughs> this guy had so many tiny cars. He was like a tiny car dealer. I didn't even know that was a fucking thing. What? But this is what we came for. What an absolute machine it was! But obviously learning from last time, I did want to have a test drive first. <laughs> That's perfect. I then asked some technical car questions so I looked like I knew what I was doing. So the, the, the clutch is all fine, yeah? Yes, yes, My, yes, my yes, not too bad? Yeah, it's uh, under warranty, so... Under warranty, I'm absolutely <laughs> And just like that, we elbow bumped, sealed the deal, and had ourselves a working toy car. <laughs> We got ourselves a whip, baby! <laughs> <laughs> After all that intense car buying, I uh, I felt a bit hungry. I'm about to be killed. I'm about to be deceased by a man. Can I get a Happy Meal, please. Chicken nuggets, Happy Meal. That's it, thank you. <laughs> Look who it is! It's Tom from the last video. Very nice, Tom. Thank you. I have to come pick you up in it one time. See you later. So clearly I'd proved this was a capable little motor, so I thought it was time we set off to the cinema. But there was already a problem again. They'd hired Vin Diesel's fucking stunt double to guard the gate. To make sure nothing fishy was going on. I didn't realise it was going to be this serious. Dude, on, this guy's going to fucking kill us. <laughs> but had we come all this way for this MI5 agent to ruin our chances? No, we had not. So we managed to negotiate with the man and blag our way in. I then discreetly set up the tiny car and got driving. Nothing can stop us now. Surely. Nothing. <laughs> is this a first? It is. Is it? It's a first. I don't know if it's going to make it. I don't think we've got enough charge. <laughs> But just when I thought we'd finessed our way in, an army of staff came storming over, including Vin Diesel from earlier, and he did not look happy. Oh. This woman then demanded that I stop the vehicle, and our plans had been foiled. But we had confused the hell out of Vin Diesel, and he did take it quite well. So there we were, we'd made it to the drive-in. Now I suggest you do what that screen says and subscribe right now. Because when the film ended, they somehow let me have a little joyride around the car park. <laughs> so there we are, driving off into the sunset, having completed our mission of getting into the drive-in cinema. But of course, in true Vin Diesel fashion, we had to have one last ride. <laughs>